specific heat capacity solving for initial temperature. 2,520 joules of heat are added to 200 grams of mercury to reach a final temperature of 130 degrees Celsius. The specific heat capacity of mercury is 0.14 joules per gram degree Celsius. What was the initial temperature of the mercury? By looking at the data presented, we need to use the formula Q equals MC delta T. The thing that we need to realize here is that the delta T can be broken down even further. And delta T can be represented as temperature final minus temperature initial. Now in this particular example, they give us a final temperature. So they give us this variable right here. We are going to be solving for temperature initial. Let's see what this would look like. So here's our formula again, where Q represents heat, M represents mass, C represents specific heat capacity, and then we have temperature final minus temperature initial, which represents my delta T. I have the initial values given to me from the beginning of the question, and now what I'm going to do is substitute them in. So my Q is 2,520 joules. My mass is 200 grams. My specific heat capacity of mercury is 0.14 joules per gram degrees Celsius. And then I have my temperature final. So temperature final is going to be 130 degrees Celsius minus my temperature initial. And this here is what I'm going to be solving for. The next step that I'm going to do is do the distributive property. So I'm going to re-rate my heat, 2,520 joules. And then I'm going to multiply together the 200, the 0.14, and the 130. And when I do that through the distributive property, I should get 3,640 minus and then the next step is to continue the distributive property by multiplying together 200.14 times temperature initial. When I write that into my formula, it's going to be 28Ti. And think of that Ti as your x. That is what you're solving for. The next step is going to be to move the 3,640 over to the other side. So minus 3,640 to both sides, minus 3,640 joules. And when I do that and I take the difference of it, if I do my math correctly, I'll get negative 1,120 equals negative 28 temperature initial. The next thing that I want to do is isolate the temperature initial. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 28, negative 28. These cancel out, and when I divide those two out, I get my temperature initial to equal 40 degrees Celsius. Now the thing that I can do next is just do a quick check to make sure that I have this done correctly, which is so incredibly important. So I'm going to do 2,520 equals... 200 times 0.14 and then take the difference between 130 minus 40 and 130 minus 40 gives me 90 and when I multiply together 200, 0.14 and 90 I find that my 2,520 here equals my 2,520 here that checks and I know that my final answer of temperature initial of 40 degrees is correct. And that is how you find initial temperature using Q equals MC delta T.